Today I'm going to be reviewing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Ooh. The first thing I want to say about this game is that the storyline is a lot more complex than the first game. Um, there's a total of five mansions in this game instead of one. You still have the professor, you still have the booze, you still have ghosts, but all the ghosts have been completely redone. They're brand new ghosts. Mario is not in this game, which is a good thing because I kind of felt it was weird at the Luigi's Mansion, yet Mario was in it. Um, but yeah, Mario is not in this one. The graphics are really, really good. <laughs> They're really, really good graphics. Um, you can play with the 3D, without the 3D. Both graphics are for both. My sister plays with the 3D. I play without the 3D because I get motion sickness. So when I play with 3D, I get sick. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the graphics are really good. The storyline is completely different. The game is a lot more challenging. Um, you have new gadgets. You can play with friends on this game. Um, so far, I'm, I'm really over all happy with this game. I've been waiting forever for it to come out. These were like the two reasons why I got a 3DS. was this game and Animal Crossing New Leaf. So I'm so excited for that to come out as well. Um, hmm. There's not really much to say. I mean, it's, it's pretty much basic concept if you've played the first game. If you haven't played the first game, it's pretty much Luigi is sent into a mansion by some crazy professor dude to use a vacuum to suck up all the ghosts and get rid of the haunting of the mansion the hauntingness of the mansion. In this game, like I said, there are more than one mansion. There's, I believe, five. And in the other one, there was only one, so that's a big thing. It's going to take you a lot longer to complete the game, which is good because the other one went very, very quickly. I used to play that game. I've completed the GameCube version a total of about three times. I'm very, very happy with this game. Like I said, Nintendo did an amazing job with this storyline, the character development, um, I like the ghosts better in this game than I do the other one. It's harder to catch the ghosts. You can play two-player, which is nice. You can play up to two to four people. You can play over the internet, or you can play with... If your friends have the 3DS, you can play right next to them, and y'all can kick some ghost butt, which is really nice. There are a lot of different creatures as well, not just ghosts. There's spiders, there's bats, there's man-eating plants. There's, um... These bug things that aren't, they're like flies, but they hurt you. One thing that I don't like is when you get hit by a ghost, in the other game, the ghosts would appear and they would scare you. In this game, they actually have to physically, like, hurt you for it to do anything. Well, what I don't like is in the other game, it took off about 5% health. In this game, it takes off 20%. So you have 100% life, 100 heart power. And this one, if you get hit by enough ghosts. If you get hit by five ghosts, you're dead. It also, more things will attack you in this game. Before it was just like falling chandeliers and stuff. There's other stuff that will attack you in this game. There's more bombs. There's a lot more secret paths. But other than that, I have to say they did an amazing job. I would give the game four out of five stars, which is pretty good in my aspect. Um, if you were thinking about getting this, but you weren't for sure, I would definitely recommend getting it. It is one of my favorite Nintendo games. Luigi's Mansion has always been one of my favorite Nintendo games. Um, it's just an overall fun game because it's something different. It's not the usual save Princess Peach from Bowser and you're done. But yes, if I were you, I would definitely purchase this game. Um, so yeah, I would definitely get the game. Nintendo did a great job. Thanks for watching. Bye!